What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with another 2-in-1 AEW Unrivaled review on the AEW Unrivaled GameStop exclusive Street Fighter Nick and Matt Jackson Young Bucks Ryu and Ken action figures. That was a, that was a mouthful right there, and I gotta say, it was on the first take. It was absolutely the first take. Never did another take. It was all just the first time I turned on the camera. I did not spend five minutes trying to get the name right. I went right on through. Nonetheless, man, this is two of the three GameStop exclusive Street Fighter figures. We already reviewed the Kenny Omega, if you guys want to see that video on the channel. We will be plugging the Kenny Omega in here to see all three up next to each other in this video. However... If you guys missed that figure review and you want to see the Kenny Omega by itself in its own in-depth review with its packaging and all that, I think we reviewed it with Darby Allen, the Target exclusive if I'm not mistaken, but here we are today, Nick and Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks here, could be their best unrivaled figures we've seen so far. Not that, you know, they've had just this outstanding track record of amazing AEW figures. However, I'm excited to get into it. The packaging looks stellar. It looks incredible, and I know these figures are a little bit old now, but they're starting to turn up in GameStops, you know, maybe some people out there are interested so hopefully you guys do find the video somewhat entertaining or want to check it out here but taking a look at the packaging you guys will see here it says limited edition on the side it says Nick Jackson as Ken you got some shots of Ken there you got the GameStop exclusive logo there really bright orange like fluorescent looking shiny bronzish stuff going on up here you got Nick here in his red gi looking all good in the red pants Street Fighter logo here he is number two in this set which I guess I think it was Kenny Omega that was number one or is Matt Jackson number one. Matt Jackson's number one, Kenny Omega is number three, and Nick Jackson is number two. But on the side, you also have a shot of Ken, and then on the back, you get a shot of Nick with unrivaled Nick Jackson autograph, Fighter Fest, all this good stuff here. And then on the other side, you get this nice cloudy background with the AEW logo, and then the unrivaled logo down here. And uh, hopefully, my new camera comes in, man. I, I apologize for the quality and the weirdness with the videos, at least the ones that are on camera, man. I apologize greatly for that. You know, I didn't see the camera breaking, it just came out of nowhere, and it didn't didn't really break it's just this really weird glitch or flaw in the camera so I do apologize for that if you guys want to see Matt here he is I'm really digging this head sculpt right here but he also has the GameStop exclusive thing here you got Matt there and his white gi you got Ryu right there very clean stuff going on man very cool I mean this is very stellar I think they've done a great job with this crossover and with all that being said man I'm just ready to crack these bucks out of the packaging find out what they're all about see what their accessories look like just get them in hand feel them touch them getting a little weird now but let's crack them out of their packaging find Find out what Nick and Matt are all about and see how they compare to the rest of our bucks. Alright guys, so here's the Young Bucks out of the packaging going round and round as they do in the reviews, man. And I like these figures. I do have my gripes, however, you know. It's kind of just the same things that we see and experience from these Young Buck figures that we've seen so far from AEW and Jazzwares. I still don't think they've completely nailed them to a T as far as complete head-to-toe, you know, in figure form. I think that they do battle their own struggles every single time that we see the Young Bucks. And we're going to get into that. I'm going to get into the explanations on why I don't like these figures why I do like these figures and kind of break everything down but this is a very cool GameStop exclusive I love the crossover ID I think that's fantastic and the Young Bucks are probably my favorite tag team in the world so it's not me hating on the Bucks whatsoever I love the Young Bucks but I think their figures could do better but we're gonna dive into these accessories first see what they're about and then we'll dive into the Bucks more and take a closer look at the figures themselves all right man, so for these accessories they are a tag team so we're gonna cover them together right I, I don't want to get into separation here because they're all together you know I I know they come separately. You can't purchase them together. I think a two-pack or even a three-pack would have probably been the way with these. You know, you get Kenny. You get the Bucks. It'd be like a $60 or probably $69. Giggity. Something like that, you know, set where you have all of them. But they both have the same amount of interchangeable hands, interchangeable heads. They come with headbands, waistbands, and their own gi, which if you guys don't know what a gi is, it's their little entrance gear here. But let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Let's start off with the head sculpts. Now, for this Matt Jackson head sculpt, this is actually brand new. We have not seen this before. It's got, like, the lips poked out. I actually really like this head sculpt a lot. My only issue is, is I kind of wish the hair was darker. You know, his hair is a lot more darker than Nick's, at least in my personal opinion. Maybe not today. But I, I like the expression. I like how he's like got the little lips there. He kind of looks like Tyler Breeze or something. But the beard sculpt is phenomenal. This is this might be, I don't know. I mean, they're both pretty good head sculpts, to be honest with you. This is kind of a redo of the Series 1. Just repainted it and they added some beard to it. I like both of these, actually. The bo like Both of these head sculpts are damn good. I like both of them. I have no issues with them. Maybe put a black wash on them. But outside of that, I think these are phenomenal. I'm going to be using both of these. These are great. Now, as far as Nick is concerned, both of these are pretty good as well. You got like the gritting teeth head sculpt. And then you get... This this kind of like 
I don't know, kind of young Drew McIntyre-esque looking, but both of them have great likeness to Nick. This is very similar to his Series 1 as well, except he has a ponytail now. And then this one right here, I like it. I like. I think it nailed the likeness. I think they both look like Nick a lot. I think the hair sculpt is nice. They're quality. I like the lip paint. The eyes or the true effects looks really good. I think they did a phenomenal job. These are probably the best buck head sculpts in a two-pack that we have seen. Like, as a pairing up to this point for all of their figures, this is probably the best we've seen. And I like them a lot, so that, that's all good with me. Now, one thing that gets on my nerves is the headbands, okay? This is the black headband, and this comes with the Nick figure. And they fit the head sculpt fine, like, once you, like, tie it. But in the packaging, I want to make this known, okay? In the packaging, see, it fits pretty well once you get it tied off nicely. In the packaging, the only way you can get it out of the packaging, unless you completely cut through the plastic and, like, break it, the only way you can get that out is to untie it. And once you untie it, you have to, like, you know, wrap it around the head and then formally tie it yourself. And I did a decent job here, but I don't know, man. You may be up Shish's Creek without a paddle, you know what I'm saying? If you undo that and you're not good at tying it back, you could mess up your figure. But you can't interchange it between both head sculpts, which is really cool. I like that about it. I just don't know how it fits. Like, I love the idea of a cloth headband. You guys can also see that it's so long that it, like, sticks way out here, which kind of bothers me. If it had a bendy wire in it, it would be a hell of a lot better because you could have it fall there and it would look all natural. However, what I'm saying is, is uh, I, I don't know, like, uh, maybe you could have had a, a sculpted headband, but maybe because they've done that in the past, they didn't want to redo it. I don't know, but look how good this Nick head sculpt looks. Like, that looks very quality, and I think putting this head on other Nicks would be really nice. I, I, like, I like this head sculpt. I like the headband. I just think that you guys can also, let me move this so you guys can see the headband here. You guys can see here. This is the matte headband, or the headband that comes matte, and again, it was the same thing, you know, you could put it on the head sculpt here. It's just getting it tied, and then, or untying it, and then tying it back, that kind of gets nightmaric, but look at that right there, dude, that looks pretty good, I like that, so, I don't know, I'm, I have mixed feelings about the headbands, but they are cool. Now, outside of that, you also get these geese, this is Nick's gi, and he's got the, uh, you know, the Young Bucks on the back there, I think both of them both say Young Bucks on the back, and the one thing I also noticed is, uh, Matt's is accurate with the tears on it. And Nyx is supposed to have the tears, but it doesn't. So I don't know what's up with that. But these are cloth. They're very high quality. You guys saw what they look like on the figures. And you do get a belt. So just like the headband, the only way to get this off the figure was to untie it. So you're going to have to put the gi on and then retie that if you want that on there. But it's it's very quality. I love it. I think it's great. It's just, you know, some of that stuff. Maybe it's some of the things you got to pay for. You know, if you want to play, you got to pay. You know what I'm saying? So I guess uh, that's just the way they do that. But you get both gis there. I really like both of them. I think they're very quality. like the way the buck is on there and again he's got the tears in it very highly detailed i think the great accessory and matt's belt actually comes with some deco on it right there so you get the letters right there which is accurate so that's i mean that's great like i think these are quality accessories it's just at the end of the day you do have to you know do some things and then for their interchangeable hands both guys come with interchangeable fisted hands both guys come with interchangeable mic holding or weapon holding or grasping style hands and then they both come with kamehameha hands i'm just josh and they come with i mean i guess technically i'm not Josh, but you guys get it. You can, they got Hadouken hands. And the Kenny Omega figure that was GameStop exclusive also came with these, so that's pretty cool. I like these hands. They're, they're pretty creative. I just wish they had butterfly joints so you could actually do the pose better. Alright guys, so getting into Matt Jackson himself, here's the head sculpt on the figure itself, and I feel like both, I don't know, Matt sits better than Nick, I think. Nick's head sculpt sits uh, maybe a tad too high, which you guys will see in just a moment, but this is very similar to their Series 7 figures and, you know, their 2-pack figures. Very, very similar, you know. They're, they're very similar, you know. You got the head sculpt on there. I still, I love that head sculpt, but same exact torso we've seen before. Good skin tone on here. You got the red wrist tape. And then, uh, you know, the, the lower forearms are still kind of wonky. You know, we've seen that before. I'm not going to really, uh, until we see some newer figures, I can't really complain about that because these are kind of been on the chopping block and they've been out there a while. And then if we go down to the crotch piece, you guys can see there you got the black belt, white pants, and then it says super kick over here in that same font that we saw on the back of Gi. Just regular white pants on there. And then going down, you have the white tassels and the black shoes. Again, man, nothing too wacky or out of the ordinary, man. I mean, it's a standard Young Buck figure. Most of this is the packaging, the head sculpts, and the accessories. The gear is something we've pretty much seen before. And then getting Nick in here, you guys can see here, there's the head sculpt. I love this head sculpt. Again, very pure in there, but there's the torso. Same exact thing, you know, you got the same torso, same skin tone, red wrist tape. Instead, the pants are red with black buckle. And then on the left leg, it says super kick instead of the right. And it's just red pants and tassels all the way down. The black shoes. Same exact sculpt we saw with their figures beforehand. Again, nothing too, again, nothing over the moon exciting about these figures when you strip away the accessories, but 
I still dig the head sculpts. I like the packaging a lot. And I like the figures overall. I just think they, you know, they're just not the best in hand. They kind of, you know, they struggle a little bit. All right, so this isn't all of the Young Bucks we've received, obviously. But it's a lot of them. You know, I do have the Series 3 over here to the side and the Series 1. So here's the Series 3, which are probably my personal favorites still. And then you do have the Series 1 right here, which uh, just look terrible on camera. Dude, I apologize for the shitty lighting, man. I just want to fight, like, everyone and their mom, this camera situation, bro. Just, you stick the SD card in it. One day, one day it's working, it's working fine, and then you stick the SD card in there, and it's like, can't read it. And then everybody, uh, every, even the people that fix cameras are like, yeah, I don't know. So, I mean, it just, just sickening. But here's the Series 7, the GameStop exclusive, and the Amazon 2-pack. And, you know, we got three sets of different head sculpts. I like these probably two collectively more. This is the Series 3 head sculpt for Nick. This is a brand new Matt Jackson, which just looks a little bit odd, you know. They got the staining on them. I like this gear probably the best, but overall in terms of figures and posing around and stuff, I think I like the Series 3 the most, except the Series 3, uh, the tassels get everywhere and their legs get loose and it makes me just want to vomit. So I don't know, man. I just, uh, just get get me the hell out of here. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Young Bucks 2-in-1 AEW and Rival GameStop exclusive Ryu and Ken Young Buck action figure review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd like to know your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below, man. Just overall thoughts for me, I think that they're very unique. Like, if you're just gonna put them up on the shelf like so, like all three of them up next to each other, all dressed out in their cosplay, I think it looks sweet. I think the packaging, men on card is sweet. I do have a men on card set. I have my loose set now, and I'm very excited for that. I didn't expect to find these at retail, but I actually found both Young Bucks at retail, and then my boy Giovanni sent me the Kenny Omega, so that was a huge blessing. But I love the cloth goods. You know, they're kind of just repaints with their first figures, or maybe even their Series 7 figures are kind of repaints. It's the same leg mold and all that stupid stuff, or the same crotch piece and all that stuff. However, I guess the Series 1 had the fringe down the side. It was like the Elvis pants or whatever. But these include new head sculpts. I really like the head sculpts. I did mention, you know, the thing about the headband being, like, packaged a certain way where you have to undo it. Unless you, like, completely cut through the plastic and it's kind of difficult to do. Unless you do that, these figures are, like, securely in there. And it's really difficult to get the headband out without untying it. And then once you untie it, you gotta tie it back. And it's very difficult to do so. And you'll probably never get it as accurate. And I feel like the headband may be a little bit long. I like the idea of cloth goods. And it's nice because I guess it could have been sculpted but removable. That way you could have your bucks with headbands off or off. But I guess they wanted to try a different approach this time. But I, I, I still like the figures. I, I like the give and everything like that. But with these figures, you're experiencing the looser arms. The interchangeable hands are super loose. They're not the most posable. You know, things of that nature. The things, they, the same things that we've kind of regurgitated with the AEW figures as of late. Certain figures fan incredible and feel fantastic in the hand. And then some just feel like they uh, just are going to be an absolute nightmare to pose around. And that's kind of experiencing right now. And we really want to get that quality up across the board. However, I do like the Young Bucks. I just think that they're kind of a... If you're not a men-on-card collector or a big Bucks or elite fan or, you know, you have other Bucks. I think if you have the Series 3 Bucks and you want just a, some specific Bucks... With Without the accessories. I do like these head sculpts, however. I will be real with you there. I love the head sculpts we're getting here, but I don't know, man. I just think that you could skip these without, you know, missing sleep. You know what I'm saying? I don't think FOMO is real here unless you just really like the look of these. You're a big Street Fighter and AEW fan. You know, there's, there's definitely exceptions to the rule. I'm just giving you my own personal taste and flow in there so you guys can let me know what that is about down below but before we get out of here man a huge shout out to our patrons i want to give a huge shout out to our newest patron who signed up yesterday or it may have been this morning his name is vipers huge shout out to vipers for becoming an extreme division member if you guys are interested in becoming a patron member click the link in the description below it'll take you over there to all the perks and things you can get out of that as well as some mdt merch on prowrestlingtees.com plan on doing a giveaway through the merch maybe next month or maybe later on this month however man that is going to wrap up this video thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and i'll see you next time we'll never